Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Now I'm starting with the lecture number 15 of Thanatology. And in this lecture, we'll continue the uh, foot defection and factors which affect foot defection. They are the external factors and the internal factors. And regarding external factors, the temperature of the environment, the movement of the air, moisture, presence or absence of the clothes, and manner of burial is important factors regarding the advancement of foot infection. Then the internal factors are the age, the condition of the body, sex, mode of death, and they play an also important role regarding development and advancement of foot infection. Then we will discuss the Casper dictum rule, which is foot infection in various conditions. We will discuss this rule. Then foot infection in water. This is also important aspect regarding the nature or medium in which the body is present fresh water, salt water, or sewerage water, temperature of the fluid, stagnant water, or moving water, and how the floating of the body will occur. And in this lecture, we also discuss the maceration, which is aseptic, autolytic, or autolysis, death of fetus, which occurs in uterus, and put infection of that fetus, which occurs aseptically, that is maceration. And we will discuss in this lecture. Thank you. So starting with the lecture number 15. Bismillah rahman rahim In the learning objectives of this lecture, as I told you that we will discuss the factor which affect put infection. And they are external factors within the environment and the internal factors. The external factors, they are the temperature of the environment, the movement of air, moisture, presence or absence of clothes on the body, and manner of burial. And internal factors, uh, sorry, the manner of burial it is that body is present in water or in soil. And if in soil, it is deep soil or shallow soil. And if it is lying on ground exposed to air, then they may attract flies and they may lay eggs which hatch into maggots and flies, adult flies. The internal factors, they are age, condition of the body, sex, mode of death and Casper dictum, which is a rule which deviates depending upon various conditions, which states that it takes one week in air, twice the time in water and eight times in soil. That means one week in air, two weeks in water, and eight weeks in soil. This is Casper dictum. Then putrefaction in water, we will discuss in this lecture, and it depends upon the nature of the medium, that is fresh water, salt water, or sewerage water. Temperature of the medium is important. Then movement of the water, it is running water or it is stagnant water. Then presence of other animals in water like fish, frogs, and other rodents, other animals, they can eat up the body. Then how the body will float after how much time and what are factors which are responsible in floating of the body. And as we know, it is because of the production of the gases which help in floating of the body. Then we will discuss the maceration and the most important sign on ultrasound or X-ray spalding sign, which is overriding of the skull bones. So we'll discuss them in this lecture. So 
So the factors which affect the rate of putrefaction, one can have an idea about the time since death from the stage of putrefaction of the body, but it is very variable and unreliable as putrefaction is affected by lot of factors. The process is accelerated by the presence of airborne bacteria and is related by retarded by immersion in water, by deep burial, or sometimes it is increased the rate of putrefaction by maggots and flies which are attracted by the foul smell if the body is lying in the open field, then they may hasten up the process of putrefaction. So these factors must be kept in mind regarding determination of time since death in a putrefied body. The rate of putrefaction of a body when it is exposed to air. There is a great variation in time of onset and rate of progression of the putrefaction. As a general rule, when onset is rapid, the progression is also accelerated. And there are certain external factors and internal factors which change the progression of the process of putrefaction. The external factors are temperature, temperature of the environment, that is when the temperature is more the putrefaction will be uh, advancing rapidly. And if the temperature is low, like freezing temperature, the putrefaction may be stopped even. And in very high temperature, when the body is exposed to dry, heat, sandy environment, body may be mummified even. Then the presence of air. The presence of air will increase the rate of putrefaction, whereas the absence of air or the movement of the air will retard or slow down the process of putrefaction. So the moisture in the environment, the presence of moisture promotes putrefaction. When the environment is more moist, more bacteria will be there and multiplication of the bacteria will be favorable in this condition. So the putrefaction will be more rapid. Then the presence or absence of clothes. The clothes in initially has maintains temperature and they help in putrefaction. Later, they protect the body from flies. Then the manner of burial. At tight, airtight coffin, the putrefaction is delayed. And if the body is without coffin, the putrefaction will be early. In deep graves, the putrefaction is delayed. And in shallow graves, the putrefaction is early. Body buried in lime or the soil if containing more lime, the putrefaction will be delayed. So condition of the soil and the nature of the soil, if it is buried also alter the rate of putrefaction. If the body is buried in waterlogged area, the putrefaction is early. And if the body is buried in dry and sandy area, the body may cause uh, mummification and if it is in damp and porous land, it will cause adiposia. So in dry and sandy area, it will cause mummification and in damp and porous land, it will cause adiposia formation. So these are other layered changes which develop in the uh, body uh, when the portifaction process is altered. 
So Casper dictum, what is Casper dictum? This is a dictate which states that the rate of putrefaction of body by keeping the temperature the same in each case. If we keep the temperature same, the rate of putrefaction will be equal to one week in air, two weeks in water, and eight weeks the body when buried in soil. So this is a rule that it takes one in air, two in water, and eight in soil weeks, depending upon the manner of value. So this is Casper dictum. However, it is subject to great variation depending upon various factors which we have discussed now. So the, regarding the internal factors, the age that is the infant stillborn, which are sterile, they fortify late. And children fortify early than the adults. The old and less fatty, they fortify late. The condition of the body that in fatty, the fortification is early. In emaciated, it will be late. And if it is mutilated, the fortification will be early. Regarding sex, it has got little influence, but as it is said that the females, they are more fatty, they fortify early. And female dying after childbirth, they are so fortify early. And female dying of septicemia, they also fortify early. Then the mode of death. The infections, there are more bacteria and putrefaction is early. In anemia, there is less blood supply and putrefaction will be delayed. In wasting diseases, the because of the atrophy of the muscles, the putrefaction will be late. And there are certain poisons which may delay putrefaction like the metallic poisons, arsenic, antimony and zinc they delay the process of putrefaction. Similarly, when there is sudden death, body is in good health and there will be slow progression in the putrefaction. Then putrefaction, if the body is immersed in water, it is relatively much lower than in the body exposed to air as the Casper dictum dictates, that it takes twice the time than air to fortify. As the body holds gases in lungs, it assumes a characteristic posture in the water. Once the body is out of water, then the rate of fortification is much, much higher. And it is experimentally studied that it takes approximately 16 times higher rate than the normal. Also the rate of putrefaction, it depends upon temperature of the medium. In higher temperature, the putrefaction will be hastened when the temperature is low. In cold weather, the putrefaction will be slowed down. Then the nature of medium of the uh, water, it plays an important role because the bacterial contents of the medium there is a rapid putrefaction containing, uh, causing decomposing of the organic matter and rapid in fresh water than the salt water. So the sewerage water having hot temperature, warm temperature than the normal air containing more bacteria that will cause the process of putrefaction hastened. And regarding the fresh water, it is rapid than in salt water of sea. Then movement of the medium, rapid in stagnant water and slow in uh, moving water. Then the presence of other animals in water will, they will eat up the body and hasten the process of putrefaction. Then areas affected by the medium. 
in water the face and neck they are first to affect then the thorax shoulder then arms abdomen and leg this is the sequence of the putrefaction whereas in air abdomen first then the chest then the face leg shoulder and the arms so this is the sequence which the body follows in water and in air so this is the features which are different in the both medium then about the floating of the body in summers it can be hastened and it can occur in 24 hours but in winter it may be delayed in 2 to 3 days then position of the body is that the abdomen above it is higher due to accumulation of gases and spine is below being heavier then no floating of the body will be seen if the body is submerged under water with a weight tied to it when there is homicidal killing the person may people may tie up the weight with the body and throw or the body may have been entrapped in weeds then there will be no floating of the body so when sufficient gases have been produced it occurs to, after even 24 hours in summers and may be delayed in winters 2 to 3 days now the maceration this is special condition in this there is intrauterine death of the fetus and the fetus undergo aseptic autolysis because we know that in putrefaction two types of processes are involved autolysis and bacterial action and in uterus there will be no bacterial invasion and only aseptic autolysis will go that is called maceration and if we do the x ray examination there is a characteristic sign called spalding sign which means overriding of the skull bones and this is on x ray you can see the over uh, sorry the ultrasound picture of the ultrasound there is overriding of the skull bones and this is another view you can see the overriding of the skull bone so this is called spalding sign which is characteristic for intrauterine death of the fetus undergoing autolysis so the summary of this lecture is that we have discussed the factors which are affecting the putrefaction which are the manner of burial whether the body is in water or in deep soil and if it is exposed to air the maggots and flies they play an important role then there are external factors and internal factors the external factors like temperature of the environment the movement of the air the moisture in the environment the clothes and the manner of burial they can alter the rate of putrefaction similarly the internal factor the age condition of the body sex mode of death and casper dictum is a rule which tells us that it takes one week in air twice in water and eight weeks in soil then we have discussed the putrefaction in water it depends upon the nature of medium the temperature of the environment the movement of water in the presence of other animals can hasten up the process and the floating in water will be depending upon the temperature and it may float up early in summers and late in winters and this floating is because of production of the gases then we have discussed maceration which is aseptic autolysis when the fetus dies within the uterus and it undergoes autolysis which is aseptic putrefaction and it is evident by the spalding sign thank you very much so that's all about lecture number 15 take care allah peace